All right, what's up guys? So we just got checked into our room here at Grassy Flats in a Marathon. Um, pretty nice place. So this is our view off of our uh, balcony here. Again, this is a Marathon. So we're about halfway to Key West. Um, if you've never been to the Keys, the water is exquisite. But this is a view from our uh, balcony. Um, we're about to head out. We're gonna grab some bait. Um, try to catch some fish so we're probably gonna hit the seven mile bridge to start if the bites slow there we're probably gonna go to maybe I don't think we'll go as far as channel 5 bridge but whatever bridges are kind of up towards Isla Mirada is what I'm thinking so oh and also this is my beautiful fiance Myra <laughs> say hi Myra hi. and she's apparently shy um, <laughs> but yeah thanks for tuning in guys we're gonna try to catch some fish and I'll check back with you Myra's grabbing the uh, frozen bait because I'm an idiot and I left it in the truck. So she's grabbing that. I'm going to throw on a savage gear. See if we can get anything on this artificial. Uh, if there's yellow jacks out there, they should hit this. A ton of seaweed moving through here, um, which makes it a little bit tough. But we'll see if we can get something to maybe bite this thing. There we go. All right, so our first fish on the Savage Gear, a uh, little mangrove snapper. He ate a not real shrimp. So this guy's small. Please don't destroy my bait. So first fish in the Keys, little mangrove snapper. There we go, fish on. I'm not sure what we got. Doesn't feel terrible. Looks like a snapper. Oh, a baby mutton. So we've got a baby mutton snapper. Second fish in the keys today. So we'll cut the hook out of him. He's too small. He swallowed the bait. So again, just cut that line as close as possible. And then baby mutton. Can you take a picture of him? Get him in the sunlight. That's a pretty fish. Cool, he is pretty. Send him. I mean, he's off. Cool. All right, so second fish of the day. Neither of them are keepers. We're gonna throw it back out there and hope for a bigger one. All right, fish on. Another snapper. That was actually a grunt. I'm not positive, but I think they call this a French grunt. Or maybe some sort of Margate, I don't know. He's cool looking. This guy's extra slimy. Little grunt. Cute, oh, right? Kiss like him. You wanna give him a kiss? Mm. Mm. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he has the sound. He's gonna become a friend, babe. Why he steals my heart? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh he got dirty. See what happened? That's what happens if he steals your heart. <laughs> there you go. Got him? Mm -hmm. Oh, bye. He's super slippery. Yeah, I know. He's like extra slimy. He's slimier than a snapper. All right, another fish on, and it's a grunt. Real Key West grunt. fish nursery out here right now. I like your friend. What's his name? Is so his name Julio? He looks like a Julio. <laughs> He's dead, right? He looks pretty dead. He still has one. I don't know. He's probably dying. What do you guys think? Is this guy dead <laughs> or alive? <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> here, we'll take him. We'll cut him up for bait. Feels a little bit better. He's still pretty small. Oh, another little mangrove. He's looking at it. Oh, look, you see him? Yes. He went for it. 
We got a shark over there, the nurse shark, and then we got tarpon swimming over here by my savage gear shrimp. Try to swipe at the savage gear a couple of times already. That time they actually swam away from it. I know something's up. I dropped this thing down too many times already. All right, so first day in the Keys, we've got a few different species. Um, bite wasn't real good. Um, we are catching this beautiful sunset though. It's really good. But um, yeah, we're gonna head out of here. Uh, we might do some night fishing. We wanna be up early to uh, try to hit maybe this bridge or possibly a different bridge in the, in the morning. So um, some of these places should have some live shrimp. We called a couple places today and it was just so late in the day and there's so many people here that we couldn't get anything live. Um, got a few snapper, um, caught a little mutton, that was pretty cool, saw a tarpon roll. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna call it. I mean, the seaweed out here is kind of a problem right now too, so. But we're gonna boogie out of here, probably grab dinner, uh, figure out what we're gonna do later on at night, and then uh, check back in with you guys. All right, so we just rolled up to Long Key Bridge. The water's super shallow here. I didn't realize how shallow the water is for a good amount of the way. Um, there's tarpon just stacked up on the shadow line. There's some big ones mixed with some little ones. Uh, these guys are kind of on the smaller side, but I've seen, I saw like a couple of 100 plus pounders. Um, I've got a Savage Gear shrimp on here. I'd be surprised if they hit it, um, but I did have a couple tarpon take swipes at it yesterday. So we'll see if we can get one maybe to just jump. Yeah, they don't want nothing to do with the savage here. It's all right. We'll keep it moving. All right, so we pulled up to a spot that I think should be pretty good. Yeah, I think the seaweed's probably gonna be an issue though. Um, <laughs> the seaweed's everywhere. Um, what we might do is actually post up behind the piling over here on the left. So this way we can get away from some of this stuff. But it's like trying to cast in a spot with no seaweed, which is impossible. You got one? Are you looking down there to see? Make sure you don't have seaweed. Is there a fish there? No. Oh, you got a pork fish. A pork fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that thing is so cute. Isn't it cute? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you put the rod down. Let me take a picture of it because like, I am doing Here, hold it. Hold it up. Watch the hook. Okay. <laughs> All right, so she got a pork fish. Beautiful looking fish. So, not one we're gonna eat, but. No, we're gonna eat. Look at the yellow on that guy, he's lit. Yes. You wanna take a picture of him with your uh, phone? Just watch, don't get pinned by him. All right. Oh, hold him down, you're blocking your face, Kitty. All right, one, two, and three. Baby's first pork fish. <laughs> cool. All right, you can send them, baby. Yeah, just don't throw your phone. Could you imagine if you threw your phone instead of the fish? All right, so I wasn't recording, but got the little scamper, strawberry grouper, or speckled hind, I'm not sure what this is, but cool looking grouper. Spots all over him. The bonus says I get to keep my bait, so that's pretty cool. Sweet looking fish. Send him back. It's like a nursery out here, just a bunch of smaller fish. Look how many tarpon are down there. Holy cow. See this? There's like a tarpon fiesta over there. Fish on. Like another little yellowtail. Pretty small. Bigger than the first one. I don't think I was recording when I got the first one. But actually not a bad size. He's getting there. He's got to be what, 12 inches? Yeah, he's 10. So another two inches, he'd be a keeper. So pretty little yellowtail. Send him. Yeah. All right, so I'm just kind of blowing through the shrimp right now. Something decent's got to eventually pick it up. It's just a matter of sifting through all these little fish. I got one too, baby. We got matching grunts. I'm just like turning 
My grunt was bigger than your grunt. Huh? My grunt was bigger than your grunt. <laughs> so the mullet strips catch grunt. This guy's hooked pretty weird. I know. Alright, we'll send him. <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> he wasn't happy. Yeah, it's a yellowtail snapper. Good job, baby. Bring him over. He looks so big next to you. It's actually not a bad size. Their teeth aren't as bad as like a mangrove. Hold him up, baby. Oh, hold on, let me wipe this camera lens. I don't realize it's all smudged. Hopefully it hasn't been like that for very long. Mara got a little yellow tail. <laughs> so, look, looks monstrous when you hold it. Let me see him. Mara got this yellow tail. Looks tiny in my hand, <laughs> but it looks so big in Mara's hand. I'm gonna measure him just to see. Yeah, he's 11 actually, so one more inch and he'd be a keeper. So, yellow tail snapper. Ew! Going back in the water. You got him on a mullet skin, huh? The secret bait mullet skin. So I think Myra just caught a, what is that, a Bermuda chub? It's like a surgeon fish or something. That's a, it's like a reef fish. I caught something that you would put in your aquarium. And yeah, it's like some sort of surgeon fish. Look at the colors on that though, the blue, holy cow. Gorgeous. That's crazy looking. Here, flip them a little more in the sunlight. Look at that. That is an awesome looking fish. That blue is like so electric. Yeah, look at those teeth. He's got teeth made for just crushing stuff off of like the reef. Oh my God, look at those teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool looking fish. Yeah, that's pretty. I've never seen that before. Send them. Good job, baby. It's a pretty, uh, pretty wide variety here of uh, uh -huh. species. <laughs> Little guy, looks like a pork fish. That's a little pork fish here. Beautiful looking fish. Another yellow tail. This one actually looks a little bit better. This guy might actually be a keeper. Oh, you yeah. So, not a bad yellow tail. He looks like he might be right at 12. What is the size of those fish? Gotta be 12. Oh. He's not happy. He's not happy. Oh! <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Butter and fingers. <laughs> He's 11 and 3 quarters. <laughs> He's not big enough. Not today, then. Not today. He is so close, too. Yeah. So I almost, mean, like like almost there. Almost there. Looks like a what is this? Some kind of Bermuda chub. It's another species. Bermuda chub. Oh wow. Oh. Pretty sure he just got poop on my face. So we got a Bermuda chub there. Throw him back. Another yellow tail. Little guy. So many of these small yellow tails out here. This one feels a little bit better too. Let's see. It's a yellow jack.
not crazy big, but he's a keeper size. Yeah. So we'll take him. He's a sashimi size. Sashimi and ceviche size. Yellow Jack. I'm gonna bleed him out. I'm just gonna pop his gill right there. Pop his gill right there. And then bleed. All right, so we put in enough time here. We're gonna go grab lunch regroup bait out bait up again if we can find live bait if not i think i want to try to find a place to catch live greenback or pinfish or something i do want to use some live bait fish it's because these shrimp dead or alive they just get picked apart so we're gonna run get some lunch come back hopefully catch some more fish yeah right baby Alright, so we're back on Long Key Bridge, our last day in the Keys. Uh, we got some live shrimp, got a couple of crabs too. Uh, huge tarpon out here again today. They're just stacked up underneath the bridge, but we're gonna see what we can get. Myra's using the uh, Shimano Stratic with the St. Croix Premier six foot rod and a Savage Gear 3D shrimp with 20 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. She's gonna throw around and try to catch a tarpon. Just kidding, she's just holding the pole for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to throw for tarpon. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what we can get out here. Hopefully we do a little bit better than the last couple of days. Just been getting a lot of little stuff. Um, so hopefully we can put some more in the cooler. Uh, we got a couple of snapper and some yellow jack in there right now, but we want some bigger, bigger things. So we'll see how we do. So I switched to a pompano jig and now I'm hooked up with something. I don't know what it is. I think I might've foul hooked something. I don't think I foul hooked this, whatever this is, yellow tail. Hook them sideways. How did you guys like that? He was interested in it and got too close. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. We got something big on the grunt. I had a little grunt out here. You get, do you see it at all? Looks like a shark. Looks like a nurse. Fighting it, I'm just gonna break them off. Yeah. You can keep it. Ooh. Big old nurse. So I'm not sure where the GoPro cut off in that last little uh, battle there, but it was a nurse shark at a uh, little grunt out there sitting on my uh, big 6500 pen. And uh, it just got slammed and sure enough, it was a nurse. I just, uh, I broke them off. Once I had a good idea of what I had, I just let him take the line. I mean, it is brutally hot out here and I don't wanna 
spend my tr time trying to fight a shark that I'm not going to be able to bring up anyway. So um, but we're going to get back to it. Um, there's a ton of moonfish down there, and I think that's a yellow. I think there's a couple of yellow jack down there mixed in. So we're going to try to maybe get those guys. Oh. Okay, I've got something a little bit better here, it feels like. Little black grouper. Oh, not a bad little black grouper here. He's nowhere near keeper size, but still a cool catch. Black grouper? Oh, wow. Yeah, they're always angry. Majestic sea turtle. Being cute. As ever. Alright, you come down to the Keys, you're going to catch some crazy looking reef fish. So, I'm pretty sure this is called a slippery dick. <laughs> <laughs> Or some sort, of, some sort of wrasse or something. He's got almost like a hogfish kind of mouth. But really cool colors on him. Can you get, get a picture of him? Yes. Oh, so pretty. Pretty cool. Yeah. You can catch all kinds of strange, strange things you're not going to see in Tampa. All right, so we're about to head out from Long Key Bridge. We uh, jumped one tarpon. Had a little black grouper tons of little yellowtail it's just i mean these small yellowtail they get to it before anything sizable can really get to it i mean i wanted to come out here with some pilchards from tampa even if they were frozen just to kind of avoid some of the smaller fish i mean even then they might pick it apart that's the only thing about the bridge fishing you know the bridge fishing is fun but it's like you really got to have the right bait so you know and some of these bait shops they just give you real tiny shrimp to work with so we're gonna probably have lunch here and then um We'll grab some more bait we're gonna grab some shrimp somewhere and then probably hit the seven mile bridge all right just pulled back up to seven mile bridge gonna try out here for a little bit and got some live shrimp got some cut ballyhoo or i shouldn't say cut ballyhoo but fresh dead ballyhoo and got some decent sized shrimp in there a little lane snapper this guy's tiny they look a lot like muttons. I don't catch these guys all the time. You know, obviously we have them back in Tampa, but this is a hound fish, aka needle fish. Slimy little bugger. Um, let me get the flyers. I haven't chased my bait all the time. It's not often that I actually hook them. So. Oh my god, mm -hmm. what is it called? Needlefish. Is an okay. Yep. I also call them houndfish. Oh shit. Wow, okay. We're hooked up. Alright, this is on the grunt. Ooh. Rod tip hit the hit the bridge. Alright. He actually came unbuttoned. I still got my hook. Probably a shark. He actually got unhooked. How did he get it? I don't know. But he was running sideways this way. This one's a little bit better. Keeper snap. Yeah, that one looks nice. He's like probably 11-ish. Don't take my finger. Oh, look at that. See that tarpon rolling around over there? Tarpon rolling around. Oh, it's a dolphin. What's that? Is that a cheesesteak? A cheesesteak? I can say that fish right there with the stripes. You see it? It's no, moving. I don't see it. Down on the bottom? Yeah. It could be a sheep's head. There is sheep's head down here. Yeah, because you, you know your line's way over here, right? I know. Is somebody lying in? 
somebody. So this is my name. You see? It's a I have a hard time seeing it. Is it small? It's like, well, straight. It's big. It's actually this size. Oh, shit. Yeah, here, let's put, it, put shrimp down and find out. That's why I threw the shrimp guy on me. Oh my goodness. You got some? I guess so. You got a little snapper. You got a little baboso snapper. I got a little baboso snapper too. <laughs> baboso brothers. With these guys because yeah, they're teeth. You can let go. You can let go. Bubbles. Bubbles. Mm -hmm. All right, so the sun is set. About to wrap up this trip. It's a little bit windy right now. Um, we got a few yellow jack, a few snapper in the cooler, so um, didn't really do that fantastic. Um, as good as we typically do out here, but you know, still a good time. Caught a ton of fish. I mean, so many species. Um, ate a lot of good food. Uh, the place we stayed at was beautiful. Had a crazy good view. Um, but, you know, as usual, appreciate you guys watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.